Do you like younger women? Tend to, yeah. What do you do for work, Paige? So for work, um, a substitute teacher. Deal broken. I don't date teachers. They're always trying to lecture me or send me to the principal. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm SP and boy does dating suck. You have to go out and find somebody who likes enough things about you to want to spend the rest of their life with you. And who's to say that person's in the same city or state or country? or hemisphere as you. So why don't we make it that much harder by removing two of psychology's main deciding factors in whether somebody likes you or not, time and visual appeal. We're gonna be watching a show from Cut's channel called The Button, where they do blindfolded speed dating. They don't usually do it blindfolded, but I'm assuming they wanted to raise the stakes, you know, uh, make dating that much more terrible. So now before we start, I do want to ask that you hit the sub button. I'm on my way to 500, so it'd be really nice if you came along. Uh, do consider hitting a like button too, hitting the like button, and let's get started. This guy moaned at least this loud. Oh! Okay. How's it going? It's going good. I'm Paige. I'm Trey. Nice to meet you. I have a hand. I don't know where your hand's at. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you. Oh, my boy Trey's a gentleman. Where are you from, dude? Florida. Both of you have deal breakers around animals. What's your deal breaker around animals? Uh, they have to like animals. That is an absolute for me because I um, have two dogs and two cats. See, that's a deal broken for me. Too much hair. Think of the hair. Okay, R.I.P. Trey likes animals. Yeah, I just wasn't feeling it. Uh, hello, I'm Travis. I'm Paige. <laughs> sure. I, I, oh. Sorry, button. You're wearing blindfolds. Give each other a little sniff. Let's sniff. explore your other senses. Oh, let me see if I can find her. Oh, he's gonna smell the 15 dogs and cats she's got back home. This button's crafty. <laughs> so how old are you? I am 24. Oh, okay. I am 31. Do you like younger women? Tend to, yeah. What do you do for work, Paige? So for work, um, a substitute teacher. Deal broken. I don't date teachers. They're always trying to lecture me or send me to the principal. Step it up, Paige, we're two for two. Uh, my little brother actually is a substitute teacher as well. I understand you guys are struggling a lot right now. Do you two want to see each other? I do. Sure. Hi. Hi. I like the haircut, pixie Thank you. cut. Do you like to keep it short? Yeah, I did this myself. Oh, my man went straight for the hair. I could hear it in his voice. You know, have you ever asked somebody, hey, do you like my shirt? And they're like, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. You can hear it in his voice. Yeah, if, if that's like the first thing he pointed out about her, that's the thing that caught on and he doesn't like it. He was just trying to be polite. It would like a different teacher. I'm so sorry. That's fine. Travis. Uh, longer hair is kind of what I'm into right now. Ask him about his bathing habits. Um, do you spin like a rotisserie chicken in the shower? I prefer to just kind of sit there like, a, you know, like a luau pig. My man ain't all the way clean. I, I do. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. has rejected you, Travis. Man, I should have said, I should have said, sorry. I should have said rotisserie chicken. Hello, blind person. Yeah, hello, fellow blind person. Aaron yeah. doesn't like aggressive meat eaters. I, I didn't need that to get brought up. <laughs> um. See, do you guys feel like this button might be a little biased? There was some snark in that voice. Now, as a vegetarian, I'd say uh, I, I do prefer to date other vegetarians, but like, our kind is rare and usually terrible, so. I mean, Are you it's, vegan? Yeah, it's not like a deal breaker, you know? Like, yeah, I mean, I, it's it's how I kind of act on my values so and trends. So if I eat some spare ribs in front of you, are you gonna be upset? No. Okay. See, same. If you eat a burger in front of me, I'm not gonna call for your death. That hand was ready though. I don't know, that's the stigma we, we created around ourselves. No, Do you two feel a connection? If not, would one of you voluntarily swap with someone else? I feel like I would like to get to know you more, but I don't know if like it will go any further, to be honest. What? Totally understandable. But I will voluntarily step away. Why would you do that for Aaron? <laughs> I feel like I can't connect with him completely because I can't look at the person. Okay, I like that she was honest. You see, once again, visual you know, liking is pretty important in the mating process. Your kids are gonna look like this. So I like that she was pretty honest. I'll give it to her for honesty. But this button is out for blood. Like, didn't even turn red this time. Wow. Get yourself seated. What Aaron you know? plays music. He's in a band. Do you like rock stars? Not really. <laughs> Ooh, at least she's honest too. And crazy. I did a dude in a band in a minute. 
<laughs> Lucky for you, we are not that successful, so. <laughs> no, it's fine, can you sing? Only a little bit, that's not my main thing. Um, I play guitar, bass, and drums, and I didn't realize that if I practiced, I could. So you are with your hands? Yeah. Oh, this girl's a little upfront, a little aggressive. Stop talking and let me feel your hands. Your hands are pretty clammy, do you moisturize? Yes. Do you use a rag when you shower? Yes. Do you use deodorant? Yes. Do you like nice girls or naughty girls? I like nice girls. So do you cry? Not as much as I should. When's the last time you cried? About a year and a half ago. That is too long. Yeah. <laughs> hey, come on, man, I'm trying. What are your deal breakers? Being racist. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Being homophobic, being broke. I feel like they're basic. Get it. I'm sorry. Uh-oh, he rejected you. See what I mean? She's got a little toot on her, the way she was just grilling the dude. Your hands are clammy. Do you cry? I'm gonna make you cry. Are you broke? She also did have like 15 different deal breakers, and I gotta say, that's like the that's like a deal breaker to me. If you have a bunch of requirements, like that's kind of whack. Hello. Damn, I feel bad. Hey, okay. uh, what's your name? Um, Vanessa and you. Vanessa, I'm Aaron. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. I hope my reputation does not precede me. <laughs> I really, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm okay. just looking for something that'll work. What a weird opener. I think insecurity's stepping in on this guy. Why'd you reject me? I don't like your voice. All right. I think Aaron has a lovely voice. <sighs> Thank you, buddy. I don't. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, I thought he did too. Better than this Vanessa chick. She sounds like the Californians from SNL. You ever see that? I use real California avocados. But you guys will come to know that this Vanessa girl has got a problem. She's brutal. Actually, I'm not sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Vanessa, the most shallowest girl on today's episode. Now, I do respect that people, you know, have types. You can't really control who you're attracted to or not. But this girl takes it a bit too far. Is the other person here? I'm here. Hey. hey. How are you? Good. And you? I'm doing pretty good. What's hey. your name? My name is Vanessa and yours? Vanessa? I'm Brian. Uh, have you been up already? Have I been up? Yeah, Maybe. in here. What? I don't get the question. Have you been in here and already hit the button on some people? Okay. Okay, that one was fair. That, that was a weird question, dude. But I can tell the dude was very nervous. I, I think he was smelling out some of the shallow in Vanessa. Just watch the just watch the video, dude. Would you say you're naughty? Um, I'm very naughty. Mental institution. This is crazy. <laughs> Bitch needs straight jacket. What do you do? I'm a model. What about you? I'm an actor. I do some modeling too. Oh, you do? Like, yeah. Feel each other's face. <laughs> nice. Okay. You growing out your beard? Uh, no. Well, you could ask nicely, Vanessa. Dang. Dude's lucky she missed the button though. Do you have a six pack? No. Bro, Vanessa is taking no prisoners. Sorry. Do you think there's the potential for you to match with someone here? Um, Ooh. no. Okay, even the button is tired of your crap, Vanessa. Okay, so who do you like? No one. Would you voluntarily reject yourself? Yes, I do. She rejects herself. Are you serious? Okay, so what does our actor boy from Hawaii get? He's from Hawaii, by the way. Which, why would you leave Hawaii? That place sounds very nice. My eyes are watering. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> A big red button. Better luck next time, dude. That's everyone they have left, so I guess we're just gonna end it here. Now would I go on this show? Hell no. I don't mind rejection. I, I've actually never really had a problem with rejection. Uh, the problem I have is running into Vanessa. I am scared of that girl, it, it, so it's a no for me. Now, I'm no dating coach, I'm not even an expert in the matter, but I sense these people are doing something wrong. You see, I don't think they're taking it seriously, and I wouldn't really take it seriously either. This isn't how I want to tell my kids how daddy and daddy met. So I guess I'll just stick to Grinder. I'd be right happy to. Thanks for watching. Bye.